Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about how to build a binary heap from the given array. In case you are not aware of what is heap, then please do watch my previous video on heap introduction. I have given the link in the description. Let's assume that this is our input array. We will build either max heap or min heap using this array. It is too difficult to visualize an array as a heap in binary tree format. So we will draw this array into a binary tree structure first. The element at zero index will be the root node. Followed by left and right children in the order. Three will be the left child. Five will be the right child. We need to continue this in the same order till the last element. So this is the binary tree representation of the given array. This heap or this array is neither following min heap nor max heap properties. So we need to heapify this array. In general, the binary heap input will be given in the array format. So let's understand how to identify parent and child node positions in the array before heapifying the array. We will draft the formula based on the array index position. Let's assume that these are the array index representations and n represents array index. If element at n index is a parent, then how to find its children's position? 2 times n plus 1 represents left child. Similarly, 2 times n plus 2 represents right child. Let's take an example. We will take first element at index 0, which is the root node. So n is equals to 0. Apply this formula to identify left child. 2 times 0 plus 1 is equals to 1. 3 is the element at index 1. 3 is the left child for the root node. Similarly, we will apply this formula to identify a right child. 2 times 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. 5 is the element at index 2. 5 is the right child for the root node. Similarly, let's take an example at index 4 as a parent. The element is 6. Its left child is 2 times 4 plus 1 equal to 9. At index 9, the element is 15, which is its left child, you can see here. Similarly, its right child is 2 times 4 plus 2, which is equals to 10. At index 10, 17 is the element. If you notice, 17 is the right child for node 6. Now, let's drop the formula to identify parent for the given node or element. If the child is at index n, then the parent will be at n minus 1 by 2. We will consider floor of the result as a parent index. Let's take an example. We will take an element at index 5. 13 is the element. So n is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 by 2 is 2. So its parent is at index 2. 5 is its parent. If you notice it at the tree, for the node 13, 5 is the parent. Let's take another example. We will take an element at index 8. 8 is the element. So n is 8. 8 minus 1 equal to 7. 7 by 2 equals to 3. Its parent is at index 3. 4 is its parent. We can visualize in the binary tree here, heap tree here. Hope you understood how to calculate parent and child index positions in the given array. Now let's heapify. We will discuss max heap heapification. You can try min heap heapification by your own later. The parent node value must be greater than or equals to its child node values in the max heap. We need to swap node values accordingly during the heapification process. 
we will start the process from the last node of the array from last to first in the reverse order 17 is the last node it is a leaf node it has no children so it is already following max heap properties similarly 15 is also a leaf node no changes are required here no heapification is required if leaf nodes are the parent nodes we can apply heapification only for non-leaf nodes which are from node 6 onwards we will apply top to bottom approach to heapify a node so this subtree is not following max heap properties 6 is the smallest compared to its child node values so let's swap the parent node value with max child node value 17 is the maximum child let's swap it 6 will be here 17 will be here update this array as well based on the position calculation 17 will be here 6 will be here since we have already reached leaf node level no need to proceed further in the heapification process we can stop here let's move to next node 4 is the node at index 3 since 4 is the smallest compared to its children let's heapify 9 is the highest let's swap 4 will be here 9 will be here we have to apply this at array level also 9 will be here 4 will be here since 4 is the leaf node no further heapify is required here we can stop here let's move to next node 5 is the node at index 2 5 is the smallest compared to its children 13 is the highest let's swap 5 will be here 13 will be here let's apply in the array as well 13 will be here 5 will be here since 5 is a leaf node we cannot proceed further let's move to next node 3 is the node value which is smaller than its children 9 and 17 17 is the highest let's swap 3 will be here 17 will be here we will apply here also 17 3 now if you compare this subtree again 3 is a parent its value is less than its children 15 and 6 15 is highest let's swap 3 15 here also 15 3 since 3 is at leaf node we cannot proceed further we will stop here let's move to next node which is a root node 1 is the value which is smaller than its children 17 and 13 17 is the highest let's swap so here also 17 here 1 now in this subtree 1 is a parent and it is smaller than its children 9 and 15 since 15 is highest let's swap 1 will be here 15 will be here so here also 15 will be here 1 will be here now in this subtree again 1 is a parent which is smaller than its children 6 is highest so 1 will be here 6 will be here let's apply here also 6 will be here 1 will be here we have already reached leaf node so we cannot do further heapification and we have completed all the iteration and heapification process since this tree is not clear i will redraw i'll clear this portion and redraw the tree now this binary tree is strictly following max heap properties i hope you understood how to convert an array into a max heap now what is the time complexity in worst case every heapify process takes order of log n times complexity if we apply heapify to each element in this array the time complexity would be order of n times log n in worst case so here n is the length of the array we can still improve this performance if we can start heapification from non-leaf nodes i mean 
we don't need to apply hippification for leaf nodes. Since leaf nodes does not have any children, no changes are required, no swapping is required. So we can improve performance we we can start our iterations from non-leaf nodes from 6 onwards from here. How to identify last non-leaf node index? Let's define the formula. If you look at this tree, the last node's parent is the last non-leaf node. We know how to calculate parent for a given index. Let's say n is the length of the array, then n minus 1 would be the last index value in the given array. Its parent index value will be n minus 1 minus 1 by 2, which is n minus 2 by 2. If you further simplify this, n by 2 minus 1. In our case, array length is 11. 11 by 2 is 5. 5 minus 1 equal to 4. So, 4 is the index of last non-leaf node. If you notice, 6 is the element at index 4 and here it is the last non-leaf node. If we start our heapify iterations from index 4, then the time complexity will be improved to order of n. Hope you understood. So, this is about how to convert given array into a binary heap. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Please do like the video and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.